Tonight, the Stimson administration is making another effort to reach an agreement with Chief Prine before a city council vote that could force him out of a job. But time is ticking. As the city attorney explained today, the offer goes away this Friday. We do have a, a, an offer on the table for the um, for the police chief. Today, city attorney Ricardo Woods said they're trying one last time to reach an agreement with outgoing police chief Paul Prine before he's possibly fired. We removed from chief, resigned as chief. He will remain employed in a consulting capacity to assist us with litigation and transition until the end of the mayor's term. And provided the mayor was reelected, he would still be there um, until his retirement. The mayor's office contends this is not a job offer, but instead a settlement agreement. Wood says it's similar to one originally offered to Prine on March 27th when he was presented with two separation agreement options. Woods explained how this offer differs. We look at non-disparagement in only one direction because we have to be able to tell the truth about all the things that have been said and insinuated since uh, the night. Woods is referring to April 9th, the day news broke Stimson put Prine on administrative leave. Prine proceeded to make public allegations against the Stimson administration of unethical behavior. Constantly just in the news, in the news, in the news. It's putting it like a black eye on the city. Today, council members said they want an end to the drama. Several council members said they prefer not to have to vote on Prine's termination and would rather the two parties come to terms on his departure. I really hope that we can resolve this before next Tuesday without this council having to take some action. Now, Prine told us earlier today that he had not seen this latest offer.